Welcome back to the channel. So a few of you asked me to cover the Helium T-Mobile partnership and I don't want to confuse anybody. So it's, it's very, it's a very simple partnership. Some, you know, the stuff that we've already seen, and this is all it is, is just an MVNO partnership. So the Helium side, the customers that they're going to, you know, load up on their end, they're going to be allowed to use the 4G, 5G T-Mobile a nationwide macro based network. And on their end, they're going to deploy the CBRS licenses to offload its users so T-Mobile doesn't have to carry on the entire load. So they're claiming, Helium is claiming, this is a first-of-a-kind partnership. And this is something that the cable players are now also trying to do, right? With Verizon and that MVNO partnership, they're trying to add CBRS hotspots into the network where it's really busy so they can go to Verizon and negotiate a, a smaller price because now that that peak time usage, that heavy usage in those parts is no longer on the Verizon network. And it looks like Helium got started on that out the gate or will get started on that out the gate. I don't think they're launching until the first half of 2023. So this is this works good for both partners, right? Helium was able to likely negotiate a lower price versus them having to rely on the entire T-Mobile network. And T-Mobile monetize, is monetizing the extra capacity. So it worked out for both parties. Now, in terms of the whole cryptocurrency, all that, I'm not getting into that because that'll be up to the company to disclose and and further explain how they how they want to go about that. The only thing that I saw is that they plan on maybe rewarding its customers with cryptocurrency tokens, but there's not, nothing else to really get into that. This is this is new, and this is something for that company to explain and further elaborate. So again, for on the T-Mobile side, they are looking to monetize even beyond fixed wireless access because remember, they're only allowing a certain amount of users per neighborhood. Even, even with the new light, plans that they have in place and them allowing you know all addresses to be approved there's still going to be a cutoff at some point they're not going to allow all 300 houses in the neighborhood onto the sector that's that's just that's just not realistic it's not so so definitely definitely make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel and if you have any more questions, leave your comments in the comment section down below. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.